just um, really um, had a very slow morning. I've, I haven't, I've only seen two fish up this little stream and I've just got onto um, a big brownie up here which as, um, as usual I wasn't, um, wasn't really onto it with the camera. I didn't have the camera switched on so I didn't get the, um, the take. I got a little bit of the, um, playing the fish. And um, unfortunately the hook came out so we didn't get a good look at the brown but it was a beautifully conditioned brown. Came up and took the dry fly, big terrestrial on the surface. So it's just, yeah, it's been so slow this morning. I've probably spent about two hours coming up this stream. I've only seen two fish which I couldn't get to take the fly. I'm just wondering if down there probably gets a little bit more fishing pressure than up here. But um, came across first fish this morning and I was starting to have my doubts about this little stream. Um, but perhaps I've gotten above the fishing pressure up here. So hopefully, um, going on now, we're going to see a few more fish, going to be able to spot the fish and, um, yeah, hopefully get a few fish on, on big dry flies, which is always really exciting. Fish just down here, right on the bottom. Not very active fish. And I'm right up close, right on top of them. So I'm just going to try and plonk a nymph from there. Just try and get him to take it. He is feeding on something, I can tell. He's moving around. Looks like he's feeding anyway. I see the mouth go every now and then. So I'm just going to drop this and try it. work um, <coughs> I haven't actually um, hooked a fish since the last one that I hooked up down there so that's um, since I talked to you last so it's um, been a big effort um, for no reward really I don't know what the story is there should be fish up here um, really good little creek uh, beautiful clear water um, nice stable bedrock good pools just got all the ingredients all the overhanging trees provide lots of cover and the um, terrestrial is falling into the river as well so there's lots of food so there should be fish here so I don't know what the story is up here the only thing I can think of is that it's possible that um, someone who's um, just as crazy as I am has actually fished it just recently so uh, well that's possible there are other crazy people out there so it could have been uh, it takes a lot of effort to come up here, so yeah, they must have been really keen. Uh, but it's possible that that's what's happened. Usually, when you that happens, though, if they've been fished to, you can still spot the fish probably hanging out down near the bottom of the pool, just taking cover. But uh, I still couldn't see fish, although on a day like today, it's so bright, it's a beautiful day. Won't complain about it, but it's so bright that. Um, it's quite hard to see into the water because there's lots of shadow with trees like this and lots of bright areas. So it is hard to, uh, to spot the fish. 
been a cool mission, beautiful place, another place that I've never been to, really wild. Uh, so it's nice to come in here anyway, even though um, no fish caught, uh, still a cool thing to do. Alright, well this will be my turnaround point here, I think. Um, time to go back downstream. Got quite a bit of quite a, a mission ahead of me just to get back to the car. So I've got to head down. I might look at a couple of the pools that I didn't fish on the way up on the way back and see if we could see into them now that the sun's higher um, as it gets uh, opens out a bit more. So we'll check that out. Stay tuned. Back with you soon. Back downstream, real mission getting down this uh, little wild bouldery stream. Well, not too bad really, but um, slippery rocks. So you really got to be quite careful when you're doing, especially if you're doing a solo mission like I am here, because well, you've got to look after yourself. You haven't got anyone there to look after you, so um, you just need to be careful. Watch every footstep, really. Watch where you put your feet, um, and just take that extra care, really. And you know, if, you, if something happens, you've got to think, well, what's your exit strategy? Because it's just you, you know, no one else. But going into a wild place like this, um, you really got to carry, you should always carry a, an emergency locator beacon with you, just in case something does go wrong. And keep that handy, you know, don't keep it locked away in a pocket somewhere that you can't reach easily. You want it in a place that you can just grab it out straight away if something happens to you. Set that off. And um, you know, it, you've got to, it just pays to have that, uh, that backup plan really. Um, so I'm just going to head back down. Right back down, I'll probably stay in the river as much as I can, maybe get out a bit here and there. Ouch, that's a bit of bush lawyer, that's not good. Um, stay in the river, probably the easiest way to do it normally. Right back out to the blue. Glad to be back out. A bit more open around here. It's cool. Um, so yeah, a lot easier, a lot easier travel now. So that's cool. So yeah, back out. So it doesn't look like I'm going to have any um, fish footage for you guys um, this week. So uh, I did have one on. Um, I didn't get the take. Looked like a really good brown, a really good fish, so I was a little bit gutted really that I didn't get that to the net. Um, so, no fish footage other than that, unless I can get something on the way back down, so we'll keep an eye out. Hopefully see uh, my fish out in the open feeding. So I didn't see in this stream today many fish out in the open feeding, which was a real surprise, and I don't know why that is. It could just be that I'm up here at the wrong time of the year and the fish aren't, aren't here, they might have dropped down into another part of the system. Fishing can be like that. Um, so yeah, you've got to know, you've got to know when is the best place to be um, at different places. So, so that could be a factor in it, I don't know. So um, yeah, if I, if I don't uh, get any action on the way back down, um, stay tuned because next week uh, I'm going to try and go to uh, probably concentrate on a place where I can um, I can uh, probably got a better chance of uh, catching um, a higher number of fish. So um, I'd, yeah, I'd like to get um, some good good footage of uh, of a good session on. Um, so yeah, we'll try for that and. Um, Hopefully, yeah, if we can get some good dry fly action too, that uh, that would really make some good footage as well. So that's what we're aiming for next week.
week folks going to pull out of here now stay tuned if you like what you see here please like and subscribe stay tuned for next week's video i'll see you in the next video hopefully with some good fish and some more dry fly action a bit more than today anyway cool catch you later